In 2004, I was a freelance set designer in San Francisco. I was literally based out of my own apartment. I walked eight feet to work over the dog to get to my desk. And so I was struggling at that point to try to um, establish a career, a freelance career in theater. I got a job uh, designing a play called A Moon for the Misbegotten by Eugene O'Neill, and I was thrilled. And so the design, unlike many, many designs before it, was this kind of very bare bones, skeletal looking set, but it was evocative of these epic characters, of uh, this dreamlike play, and not well received at all. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. When I opened up the review, I was just crestfallen. I couldn't, I couldn't believe what I was reading. I felt as if I failed the entire team. So this is the review, uh, a whole paragraph devoted to the set design. Instead of providing a firmly articulated plane for the action, Robert Mark Morgan's regrettable set is a jumble of fussy, uncertain gestures and geometries. I get plenty of good reviews and they're on my website, but I don't remember those word for word. I remember this one word for word. So to basically have this production get a review like that one, I thought my career was over. I thought there's no chance I'll ever work in this business again. I think any artist will tell you that there's this sort of self-doubt that seeps into your own subconscious, that you start to feel like, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm faking it. Maybe this uh, imposter syndrome seeps in. And I felt that way. I was pretty beat up about it. After that, I just kept working. I just kept saying yes to shows, no matter where they were coming from, trying to make ends meet, trying to patchwork a, a, a freelance design career. I didn't have time to, uh, to worry about it, and I couldn't afford to worry about it. There's a class I teach, and it's called Design and Creativity. And I lead off the introductory lecture for that section, and I talk about this very failure. I try to show them that Failure is always part of every process. That there's no way we can go through life without failing. If we understand that we've got to, to hurry up and fail, and then we just got on with it. Just like this show, I got on with my life and my career after this spectacular failure for me.